You're watching the TC MMA podcast. Now, in the in the main event, and I know the casuals are not paying attention this week, right? So it's a flyweight main event, but you got to pay attention. You got Brandon Royval, who's been a staple of the division for a long time, right? Has struggled to get to the to the top of the mountain, but is 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 very good. But Tatsuro Tyra is on the rise, and this guy's sixteen and zero, and a lot of people are going to want to see him win to challenge for the belt. And uh, this is a big one for him. You get revolves a win on your resume that really helps get a top contender or maybe a title fight just because we need some new action in this division. So Tyra's on a big stage here in the main event, but does that mean he's going to win? I'm not so sure. Let's get into it right now. In the flyweight division, your main event at UFC Vegas 98. You got Brandon Royval taking on Tatsuro. Tyra, this is a rising guy. 16 and 0, undefeated. Brandon Royval has been around for a while. He's 16 and 7, and this will be a huge win if Tyra can pull it off. Because Royval's got all types of experience. He's two inches taller at five and nine. Is Royval? He's 32. Tyra 24. So changing of the guard potentially. Tyra two inch reach advantage, 70 to 68. He stands right handed. Royval stands left handed. So that will be interesting. Royval more active, 4.3 significant strikes per minute to 3.6 for Tyra. Uh, but Tyra is a takedown specialist, landing, you know, just shy of one per round. Royval, 40% takedown defense. That could be a problem. Did beat Brandon Moreno last time out by split decision. So let's not get it twisted. Pantoja uh, beat him by decision, but that was for the title. And actually, Royval outstruck him despite being taken down eight times. So that's where the fight's going to play out here against Tyra. Boy, oh boy. Royval's got some experience beating Matthias Nicolau, Matt Schnell. And Rogerio Bontorn, is he really the underdog here? Tyra beating Alex Perez, a guy who I thought, you know, had a lot of potential a few years ago, but it's kind of died out now. He beat him by KO, beat Carlos Hernandez by KO, Edgar Chaires, tough fighter decision, Jesus Aguilar submission. And this is always one of the toughest predictions uh, in, terms of, in terms of the situation. A guy that you know is solid at, near the top against a surging contender, the guy near the top in Royval has all types of experience. Is Tyra really that good? I think this time he is. I think Tatsura Tyra is just that good. The Japanese fighter is 16 and 0. He's beaten some solid guys. He doesn't have the fight experience as as Royval, but the fact is, is he's better. The only thing that worries me is just, he's just 24 years old. But I'm gonna have to look past that in this one. Tyra gets to win. Uh, it's five rounds. It could be a finish here. But Roy Vall's a battler, but I just like Tyra to get the victory on the takedown game and limit the striking of Roy Vall just enough to get the win here in the flyweight division. Your main event, that's my opinion, at UFC Vegas 98. Yeah, so tough one there. And what would it be, 19 and 14 right now? So looking to get the 20th win of the season. Just a couple more to guarantee a winning record in a very tough year. And this fight is no different. I mean, it could go either way. But I gotta believe that Tyra uh, is the better fighter, right? You're you're 16 and 0 for a reason. Yes, every time you step up on the ladder a little bit higher, it gets a little tougher, and uh, eventually you might get beaten, or eventually he might be an undefeated UFC champion. We're gonna find out. I mean, because this is a if he goes in there and just levels Brandon Royval or submits him in the first or second round, it's gonna be a huge story. And a lot of people are going to start paying attention if that happens. Because right now, like the flyweight is at 125. Not a lot of people get excited about it, especially when it's the main event. It makes the whole card look weak. That's, that's just the perception. But I'm here to tell you that this is a big-time fight. This isn't your average uh, high-level high you know, contender fight at a UFC fight night. This is a guy that's 16-0 that could potentially be a UFC champion and be undefeated. So the casuals may not be paying attention, but you are because you're diehard. And that's just the way it is. He's going to fight. Wait, he's going to fight. Wait, hold your breath till the end of the night. Last fight to call UFC at its height. Yeah. Bringing that thunder with all his might. Saying, step up. up, up. Want to fight? Huh? Hold up. Think twice. Ah. Gladiator assassin. Reckless, no abandon. Walk through that cage. He'll leave your ass.